Welcome back to another episode of our enlightening series. Today we're diving deep into a topic that I believe speaks to the core of human existence, finding our purpose in what we're passionate about. Larry, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Susan. I'm thrilled to discuss this topic. The intertwining of passion and purpose is truly one of the central themes of our lives, shaping our choices, actions, and even our identities. So true, Larry. But let's start at the beginning. How would you define the relationship between passion and purpose? Great question. Passion is that fire, that intense enthusiasm or excitement for something. It's what makes our hearts race and our minds light up. On the other hand, purpose is the why behind our actions, the deeper meaning and direction in our lives. When passion and purpose align, it creates a powerful synergy, driving us forward with both energy and intention. So, in essence, while passion gives us the energy and drive, purpose gives us direction? Precisely. Think of it as a car. Passion is the fuel, and purpose is the GPs. You can have a full tank, but without a direction, you might just drive around aimlessly. Conversely, knowing your destination without the fuel to get there can be equally frustrating. Beautiful analogy, Larry. But the million-dollar question is, how does one find their purpose in their passion? Or even recognize that passion in the first place? It's a journey, Susan. Start with introspection. What activities or subjects make you lose track of time? When do you feel most alive? Once you've identified your passion, dig deeper. Ask yourself why it matters to you, how it aligns with your personal values, and what larger goal or impact it serves. That's where you'll find your purpose. But Larry, in today's fast-paced world, people often confuse fleeting interests with passion. How can we differentiate? That's a valid point, Susan. True, passion is consistent. It's not a fleeting interest that changes with the seasons. It's that underlying current that keeps pulling you back no matter where life takes you. A true passion withstands the test of time and challenges. And once someone identifies that passion and its corresponding purpose, how can they best nurture and grow it? Commitment and continuous learning, Susan. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals, seek mentors, and always remain a student of your passion. The more you invest in it, the clearer your purpose becomes. And with clarity comes the confidence and drive to turn your dreams into reality. Profound Insights, Larry. It's evident that finding purpose and passion isn't just about personal fulfillment, but it's also about contributing positively to the world around us. Absolutely, Susan. When you're fueled by both passion and purpose, you don't just elevate yourself. You elevate everyone and everything around you. It's a beacon of hope, inspiration, and transformation. We've touched upon some remarkable points, Larry. Now, I want to address a challenge that many face. Often people feel pressured by society or by their own inner circle to follow certain paths, even if they don't align with their true passion. How can one navigate through these external pressures? Ah, the age-old struggle of societal expectations versus personal desires. First, it's essential to recognize that these pressures, more often than not, stem from a place of love or concern. Your loved ones want to see you secure and successful. But the path to success is not one size fits all. That's very true. And it's easy to say, follow your heart, but the reality can be quite challenging. Absolutely. But here's a perspective shift. Instead of seeing it as a battle between you and the world, view it as a journey of educating those around you. When you're clear about your passion and the purpose you found in it, it becomes easier to communicate that vision to others. Share your milestones, your achievements, no matter how small, and let them be a part of your journey. That's a lovely way to put it, Larry. Inclusion rather than exclusion. But what about those moments of self-doubt? When you're walking an untrodden path, it's natural to second-guess oneself. Self-doubt is a natural human emotion. Even the most successful people have their moments of uncertainty. What's important is not to let it paralyze you. Revisit your why, your reason for choosing this path, Reminding oneself of the bigger picture can often provide the necessary clarity. And speaking of clarity, how can one ensure they don't lose sight of their purpose, especially when faced with hurdles or roadblocks? Resilience and adaptability. 
Every roadblock is an opportunity to learn and grow. The key is to stay connected to your passion and adapt your approach as needed. Remember, the path to purpose is not always linear. Sometimes detours can lead to even more profound discoveries. Fantastic advice, Larry. It's essential to realize that our journey towards finding purpose in our passion is ever evolving, just like us. Precisely, Susan. It's a journey of self-discovery, growth, and continuous learning. Embrace every aspect of it and trust that if passion as your compass, you'll always find your way. You bring forth a very insightful point, Larry. On that note, let's dive deeper into the intricacies of passion. Many argue that passion fades over time, replaced by routine and monotony. How does one maintain that initial zeal over the years? That's an excellent question, Susan. Passion, like any emotion, can ebb and flow but the key is to consistently reignite it. One effective way is to set aside regular reflection times. This can be weekly, monthly, or even yearly. Reflect on your journey, acknowledge your progress, and remind yourself why you started in the first place. This not only rekindles the passion, but also offers a clearer direction. A regular check-in with oneself. That sounds incredibly helpful. However, there's also this notion that passion can sometimes blind us making us overlook potential pitfalls or even our well-being. How does one strike balance? Balance is indeed crucial. While passion can drive us, it's essential to pair it with a good dose of realism. This doesn't mean curbing your enthusiasm, but rather ensuring you're well-informed and prepared for challenges. Surrounding yourself with a diverse group of people can help. They can offer different perspectives, play devil's advocate, or simply be a sounding board. It's always beneficial to have both cheerleaders and critical thinkers in your corner. It's all about ensuring that passion propels you forward, but with a sense of grounding. And for those who feel they haven't found their passion yet or feel disconnected from it, what would be your advice, Larry? First, it's essential to understand that it's okay not to have it all figured out. Passion isn't always a lightning bolt moment. For many, it's a slow burn, a gradual realization. Stay curious, explore new avenues, and be open to experiences. Sometimes, passion is found in the most unexpected places. And remember, it's never too late to discover or even rediscover what sets your soul on fire. Wise words, Larry. Passion is not just about zeal, but also patience, exploration, and understanding. It's a journey that is unique to each one of us. Continuing on this journey of passion, Larry, there's an aspect we often overlook, the challenges that come with pursuing what you love. In your experience, what have been some of the most daunting challenges, and how have they shaped your perspective on passion? That's a profound angle to approach, Susan. Passion, while it fuels our drive, does come with its share of challenges. One of the significant challenges I faced was societal expectations. Often, what we're passionate about may not align with societal norms or what's deemed practical. It took me a lot of self-confidence and inner strength to choose my passion over the well-trodden path. It's so easy to succumb to those external pressures. But facing them head-on brings out a stronger sense of self, doesn't it? Absolutely. Another challenge that often crops up is self-doubt. Even when you're on the path of your passion, there will be days of questioning, days where failures make you rethink everything. But it's in those moments that the true essence of passion shines through. It becomes a beacon, reminding you why you chose this path and what it means to you. It's almost like passion tests us, ensuring we are truly committed to the cause. Speaking of commitment, how does one stay committed when the initial excitement fades and things become mundane or routine? It's a natural progression, Susan. Everything new and exciting eventually becomes familiar. But it's essential to keep challenging oneself, setting new goals, and pushing boundaries. If you're passionate about painting, for instance, explore new techniques, mediums, or styles. Always keep that learner's mindset. This ensures that the journey remains as exhilarating as the first step you took. So it's about constantly evolving and growing within your passion. But Larry, what about setbacks? How do we bounce back when our passion leads to disappointment or failures? Setbacks are an inevitable part of any journey. But when you're treading the path of passion, they can feel even more disheartening. 
The key is to view these setbacks as lessons, not failures. Each setback teaches you something new, be it about the craft, the industry, or even about yourself. Embrace them, learn from them, and use them as stepping stones towards your ultimate goal. Building on that, Larry, as we wind down our conversation, I think it's essential to discuss the transformative power of passion. How does finding one's purpose and passion lead to personal growth and a fulfilled life? Great question, Susan. When we align our purpose with our passion, it creates a synergy that's unmatched. This alignment is not just about success in conventional terms, but it's about personal evolution. Our passion pushes us, challenges our limits, and makes us face our deepest fears. As we navigate these, we grow stronger, more resilient, and gain clarity about who we are and what we truly want from life. And that self-awareness is priceless. It's the compass that guides us through life's journey, ensuring we remain true to ourselves. Precisely. It's about the journey, not the destination. And when passion is your traveling companion, the journey becomes an adventure. You wake up every day excited about the possibilities, eager to face challenges, and grateful for the opportunities to grow and evolve. Beautifully put, Larry. It's been enlightening discussing passion's power and purpose with you today. Our key takeaway. Passion, intertwined with purpose, can be our greatest teacher, mentor, and motivator. It leads us to destinations we never imagined and helps us become versions of ourselves we never thought possible. Larry, thank you for sharing your wisdom and insights with us. It's been a pleasure, Susan. Remember, always let passion light your path and you'll never lose your way. Wise words to end on. To our listeners, wherever you are in your journey, seek your passion, embrace it, and let it guide you to your true purpose. Until next time, stay inspired and keep chasing your dreams.